On today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use hybrid picking and dotted eighth delays to create beautiful sounds. Let's get to work. So I've posted several videos here on the channel on the topic of hybrid picking, but it's such an important technique in terms of playing ambient guitar, I think it's worth examining again, and this time I'd like to teach you a specific technique using a dotted eighth delay. So what will you need for this exercise? One is you'll need a standard electric guitar, just keep it tuned to standard. You will also need a delay pedal, and it can be any pedal uh, that can do dotted eighth style delays. Here's what I have on the floor right now. I've got a Strymon Compadre compressor going into a Strymon Iridium amp modeler going into a Morley volume pedal and then going into a Strymon dig delay, which can obviously do the dotted eighth delay. You can use, however, whatever equipment you wish. Don't worry about what I have. Just make sure you've got a dotted eighth delay and set it up so you can do something like this. All right, just kind of tap in that tempo so you get that nice dotted eighth kind of gallop. All right, next we're gonna work on hybrid picking. So if you haven't seen the other videos, what is hybrid picking? Basically, it is a style of playing where you use a flat pick and your fingers together to play chords and arpeggios and even uh, melody lines. <laughs> All right, so how do we get started with this exercise? First, we're gonna, we're just gonna focus on the fifth string, that open A. And what I want you to do is just take your pick and start a rhythm kind of like this. Okay, and if you turn your delay on, it's gonna sound something like this. Okay, that's gonna form the rhythm for what we're gonna be playing. The next thing you'll need to do, uh, if you're gonna follow me, is uh, focus on the B string, and specifically on the eighth fret. Okay, so that's gonna be a G, right? And what you're gonna wanna do is take your, uh, your middle finger or your ring finger, uh, while you have your pick between the forefinger and the thumb, and just play that G, that eighth fret on the B string, so the G. Okay, and again, if you turn on the delay, you're gonna get. Okay, pretty straightforward. Number three in the steps is just to pick the open A string and that G on the B string eighth fret together. Okay, if you've never done it before, it might be a little messy, but just work on it. Until you can get it clean. If you need to, feel free to go down to an A minor and then just, uh, you know, you've got your B string on the first fret, so that C, you can, uh, you can practice there too. That way if you hit extra string, you know, it's, it'll sound pretty good, right? It's an A minor. So just practice that together until you feel like you've got it down. All right, step four, turn on your delay and tap in the tempo that you would like to play at, and I would suggest starting slow. Okay, and once you get that going, play the open A and the G, that uh, B string on the eighth fret, I gotta remember that, together in tempo with the delay.
Okay, once you get that down with the delay, then you can begin <laughs> adding extra notes in on the open A string while you're playing quarter notes on the G on that eighth fret B string. Let me turn off that delay so you can just kind of hear what's going on here. Okay, and what I like to do is kind of stop the G with my ring finger. Okay, that might take you a little while, right? If you've never done that before. Um, I know it took me a while and I'm still kind of learning how to get it cleaner and cleaner and cleaner. Once you get that down, you can kind of go back to the more complex rhythm with just the flat pick on the open A string. And what you're gonna to wanna to do now is kind of get that more complex rhythm going and then play that high G, here we go. And if you notice, I switched to um, just one note per measure on the G, right? One, two, three, four. All right. You with me? This is about 15 minutes worth of work, right? <laughs> Not. It takes a little while to get this, but trust me, once you get it down, you're going to love playing this kind of stuff. Once you feel comfortable with that, then you can begin to move up and down the fingerboard on the B string with different notes. And this is what you heard me playing earlier in the video. All right, and you may have noticed sometimes I'm stopping the string and sometimes I'm just letting it ring. So that's kind of cool too, you can kind of vary that. Once you get that down, you can begin to play miniature arpeggios with your middle finger and the ring finger um, as you're playing that bass rhythm. Let me show you what I mean here. You can also apply this technique to fuller chords. So if you recall the A minor from earlier, and if we just turn that into an A minor seventh, and then kind of do the classic thing where you kind of slide up the fretboard with the A minor shape, right? Come on, you all have done that, right? I do it all the time. And so have many other rock musicians throughout all of history. Anyhow, if you apply the hybrid picking technique with the dotted eighth delay, you can get some really nice sounds. some quick exercises to learn how to combine hybrid picking with a dotted eighth delay. Again, I think it's a really cool technique and it can be used in a variety of pieces and, and even styles of music. Do you have experience with hybrid picking and dotted eighth delays? Drop a comment below and let me know how you've used this technique. So I have two things for you to check out. One is a playlist of other hybrid picking technique videos I've done here. The other is a link to Chords of Orion Music. 
And as always, I'll see all of you on the next video.